You know, I, I got to ask you too, Edgar, uh, us being fight fans, man, uh, I got to get your opinion on uh, this Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence fight, man. People are going back and forth. Some people say Errol is just too much activity. He, he's just bigger. Other people are saying, hey, nah, Spence is a, uh, excuse me, uh, Crawford's a genius in the ring, his counter punching, his switch hitter abilities. Who do you got, man? And, and how does that fight go in your opinion? Um, I got that fight at 50 50. Um, I just feel like they both, they both dogs. They both beasts. Um, I think the man that, that wins that fight is the man, the man's will. I think whoever has the strongest willpower, will meaning like that, this and like this and the aggression and, 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 and the fight and how they're going to bring the fight. You get what I'm saying? And just, I think the will, whoever has the strongest will is going to win. You know, whoever breaks whoever's will. Um, and if, for me, you know what happens if nobody breaks each other's will, then what, what was the decision? A draw. You know, um, but I don't, I don't think it's going to be a draw. I think it's going to be an amazing fight. Um, so, yeah, I think it's 50-50, man. May the best man win. Man, that'd be crazy if it was a draw. I didn't even yeah. think about the possibility of it being a draw. Yeah, for sure. You know, I and I say that because, you know, it's just it's two lines, bro. You know what I'm saying it's two guys that's eager to win. Like, you gotta understand these dudes don't like to lose. So it's like if they do, like you feel like they lost one round, they're so they're so competitive that it's like, yeah, I lost this round, oh, I gotta win this round, and they win it. And then the person that lost that round is like, yo, I lost fuck, I gotta win the next round. Like that's how competitive they are, you know what I'm saying? So don't be surprised. And you know, fuck around and be a draw. Jeez, man, put money on the That would be crazy, though, man. That would be bad. That would be retarded. <laughs> but yeah, I would. Saying, like, there's that competitive, like, the competitive, like, how they are. They're so competitive, man. And, you know, when there's a draw, when the fight gets a draw, it's because two fighters are just so competitive. And just like one, one, 21 round, the next round, the one, the another one. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, the, the one thing, though, that I've heard people uh, say is that Crawford can't start late. Like, he can't allow Spence to kind of gain rounds on him in the beginning. Yeah, yeah, he got to he gotta be on point from the first round. Like, he got to come out and just go to work. You know what I'm saying? Like, he can't. Like, yeah, I know, you know, and you got to understand, like, Crawford's the type of guy, like, he'll probably give you the first three rounds, you know what I'm saying, just to figure you out, get his distance, check you out, test your power. You know what I'm saying? You touch him, see if you know what I'm saying, how your power is. And it's like I fly after the third round. I was like, all right, let me let me start, you know, let me start picking it up on this guy. If I were to get I, I've been asking this uh, to everybody. If I give you a thousand dollars cash and I go, Edgar, you, you can't run away, you can't spend this on anything, you gotta play you gotta place a bet. Either Crawford or Spence, who you who you placing that grand on, that G on. Oh, man. Uh Moment of truth. <laughs> Jeez, that shit is hard, man. I yeah, I know. Go 500, 500. <laughs> yeah, place it on a draw. <laughs> yeah, for real. It's funny. Cambosis actually uh, mentioned something about a draw, too. He's like, hey, you see the odds for a draw? Like, be smart to put your money on that. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably better on a draw, man. See, see what we're <laughs> for, you know? <laughs> you know, finally, man, uh, Edgar, uh, 168, dude, the, there, there's one guy that everyone talks about being the boogeyman, the monster. And I'm just curious what yeah. your thoughts are on this guy because I know you're a huge puncher in the division. What do you make of David Benavides and, and people labeling him the boogeyman of 168? Yeah, he's a beast. Um, That's another fight, too, that, that we could get, you know what I'm saying, that we can make happen in the future for sure. You know, um, I think... He's a beast. I think me and him will be a crazy fight too. You know, just like, you know, Mungia and these guys, but us too, we're young. You know, I think, I believe he's 27 or 26 years old. You know, um, well, 23. He's, he's young. Yeah, 23. He's how? He's 23. No, no, he's who, 23, 24. Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. he's still really young. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, shit. So look at that. Yeah, man. Like, you know, that's the fight that, that definitely we can make happen. You know, I think that'll be a crazy fight too. You know, he's Mexican, I'm Puerto Rican. You know how that go. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's definitely a beast. For sure. 
Man, I, I miss going to the garden, the, the big garden, and hearing uh, the Puerto Rican crowds. I, I was there for a few Cotto fights, man, and it's it's something different when, like, the whole, all the, the Boricuas, like, the, the real fans show up and start getting yeah, into right. it, you know, with, with everything. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Um, I definitely felt the energy in there, you know, um, this past Saturday. Like, it was, it was, it was just amazing, like. Walking out, you know, I, I walked out with, with my brother, Brian Myers. You know, he's a reggaetonero from Puerto Rico. He's Puerto Rican, big Latin artist. You know, I had, you know, all the bodies out, man. And it was just amazing. You know, I had, a, I definitely had an amazing time for sure. Hey, who's the dream person you want to to walk you out for a fight? Is, is there someone that comes to mind? Uh, I think Bad Bunny. That's what I was thinking, too. I think, yeah, <laughs> That'd I be think crazy. Bad Bunny. I'll say Bad Bunny for, like, a Canelo fight. Yeah. You know, for a magnitude like that, like a big fight like that, I'll call up Bad Bunny. Like, yo, listen, I need you to walk me out. You know, let's sound big. Let's make history. That, that'd be pretty cool, man. Uh, yeah. And we might see you in a wrestling ring because he's doing the wrestling thing too, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, man. Edgar, great chat. Uh, thank That's you right. for uh, sharing the time with us. If you want to go ahead and close us out, a uh, special message there to, to the fans and yeah. uh, special special message to everybody at 168 also. Um, first and foremost, you know, I want to thank my fans, the supporters, you know, the, my, you know, the non-believers. Um, I love you guys, man. Um, you know, the 168 division, you know, I'm ready for all the top dogs, you know, so we definitely after this week, you know, for this week off, we're going to start looking at who's, who's next, who's the next op, you know, that we about to, you know, light up, smoke them up, you know what I'm saying? For October, um... Yeah, man, and just keep God first, you know, all my all, all my supporters, everybody around the world, man. Jesus is king. Always remember, man, he's amazing. Um, I got closer with God, uh, and I love all my supporters, man. Thank you guys for everything. That is Edgar Berlanga, still undefeated at 21-0. and 0. Edgar, thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it.